Hey there, this is Kat and this is your Marketing Minute. Today, I want to talk to you about managing your clients. So we all have a client or two that tends to be a little bit on the anxiety side or creates a little bit of stress for you or some of your team team members. And I think the thing that you want to do is you don't want to completely fire your client unless they're really driving you wonkers. What you want to do is you want to coach and train your team how to manage their clients. Because just like you have to manage people within your organization and your team, you also have to manage your clients. And that means laying down like groundwork, laying down like um, boundaries. I guess that's the perfect word I wanted to say, laying down boundaries, because it's not okay for a client to maybe huss or say, you know, profanity in emails or in conversations and what have you. That's not okay. And I understand when people have a bad day and maybe want it, profanity will slip out. It happens to me. I always apologize and I say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and if you've been in those conversations with me, uh, I can get a little ratty. So um, I understand that it happens. We have bad days. But when clients are verbally abusing uh, their support team, so whether that's the social media manager or the assistant or whomever, or, or even my team leaders, you know, it's not appropriate and it's not okay. And that's when I usually typically step in. And as a business owner, you should as well, because nobody should be treating anybody, any human, <laughs> disrespectful and it just doesn't create a great environment or a working relationship because it just makes the people feel uneasy when they're communicating with those specific clients. So learning how to manage your clients so that you prevent things that are a little uncomfortable. Um, I we've had We had a client one time work with a social media manager and that client would it was a single or maybe he was married i can't remember but it was a male client and they would ask the social media manager we call him project leader or social media manager same thing um personal questions then that to me is like crossing the line is you know you should maybe ask people if that you could ask a question but they would always harass and ask personal questions like are you dating what do you look like? You know, you know, how tall are you and blah, blah, blah. It's just really not cool. And so again, learning how to manage your clients. And a lot of times what I tell my team, and I have a team of women, 20 women, I have a big team of women. And what I typically tell them is if something makes you uncomfortable, then you need to stop the conversation. Let the person know that you are a little uncomfortable with the conversation and that you would like it to end. And if we could just continue with business and then that way we could go about our day. So I'm always coaching and training my team on how to manage their clients because again, you don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable. You don't want anybody to cross the line of what is appropriate and what isn't appropriate. And I think a lot of times, maybe sometimes clients don't realize that that might be a little inappropriate. Like, you don't want to ask that question, you know, or maybe you don't want to say that out loud <laughs> in front of mixed company, you know, little things like that. And, you know, I... I have a team of different various religious background and um, nationalities and and some of the people on my team don't really um, like, you know, profanity or it's against their religion or things like that. Or maybe some of them are, you know, married or whatever, but they're not comfortable with people asking intimate questions. And I can respect that and I understand that. Or... We had a client one time that would call everybody sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart, can you do this? Hey, sweetheart, hey, blah, blah, blah. And for one of my uh, team leaders, it offended her because she was like, I'm not his sweetheart. Like, he needs to stop saying that. 
And so it's a matter of coaching and training your team on how to manage their clients because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You don't want to offend anybody, even though we're offended by it. <laughs> you just have to be gracious about it and be have a little empathy because again, maybe they don't know that it's not appropriate or right. I don't know. You know, some people maybe aren't trained what's appropriate conversations and what isn't appropriate. So think about that as you're moving along in your business because you can lay down ground ground rules and boundaries. And I'll give you another example. We had one client um, and this is when we used to give away, give out our cell phones and we don't do that anymore um, because this client was texting my employee at two in the morning, three in the morning. And she was like, you know, I have kids, so I can't turn off my phone. So this, my phone's blowing up at two and three in the morning. And, you know, I could, I, it could have been one of my children, you know, at a bar or somebody left them or, or they're injured or whatever, but then my, it's my client at two or three in the morning, like who does that? And so again, it's setting boundaries and understanding and really working with your clients so that you manage them and they're not overrunning you and taking over your life and calling you 24 seven and expecting you to respond because nobody works 24 seven. Nobody does. <laughs> Except if you're in the military, I did. And we did work 24 seven then. But other than that, no, nobody's being paid to work 24 seven. So, um, so that these are things again, that you want to think about, you know, a big thing that comes up all the time is when a client emails us and then they said, you haven't responded. Well, they just emailed like five minutes ago. And, you know, so I guess their sense was that we should respond immediately and at the drop of a hat when that's not realistic. We have lots of clients that we're working on. And so again, we have to manage our client and let them know, you know, we will respond to you. And if we don't get to you today, we will definitely get to you first thing in the morning. So everybody's hours vary and it's not about, you know, we're not plastic surgeons. Everything is in a crisis. So we can take time to get to you in the morning or the next day or whenever, okay? So basically what I'm getting at is managing your clients, understanding boundaries and what works for you and what wor works for your team, because you can't have people offending you, you can't have people, you know, uh, verbally abusing, you know, people on your team. It just doesn't work. It has to be a good working relationship, a win-win, and everybody has to respect each other. Hey, I'm Kat Ramirez, CEO and founder of Advertise and Hashtag Social Buzz. Follow me and learn more ways on how you can stand out and grow too. You got this. <laughs>